Hi, this is Geos Hero 24, uh, coming for my first ever Power Rangers Samurai Megazord review. Um, I'll be reviewing the combination of the Samurai Megazord and the Samurai Clawzord. So, this is my first review, and I hope everyone likes it. Firstly, uh, I'm going to introduce the Clawzord. This is the Clawzord uh, in lobster mode, in Zord mode, and uh, in Shinkajuri, uh, it's called. The E.B. Origami, and uh, piloted by Jinta, of course. And this is a kind of a close-up view. I'm rotating it so everyone can see it. It's pretty long. It's one of the biggest swords I think in Samurai. Uh, personal swords. And uh, this is a yeah. Anyway, and I'll be combining the two. Um, everyone already knows the Samurai swords. Uh, the Lion Sword. As you can see it. The Lion Zord, as you know, or the Shishi Origami and Shinkinger. The Dragon Folding Zord, or the Ryu Origami and Shinkinger. The Saru Origami, or Ape Folding Zord, or vice versa. The Kame or Turtle Folding Zord in Samurai at least. This is a kind of a close up view. See it in probably the most simplest Zord, the smallest one and everything, but anyway. The one that has origami mode actually. And then last is the Kuma Origami or Bear Folding Zord for Samurai. Okay, first thing you want to do is, uh, you know, do the whole thing. You just fold up the legs for the bear. We'll do him first, since it was the last one. And then fold up the head to complete that. And you have the leg. And everyone knows that already. Um, I'm just going to repeat it, because, anyway. Ape, same thing. The arm. The dragon... Uh, remove the sword here, take out the helmet. If I'm be using that anyway, put that over here and fold it. Okay. And uh, last but not least, well, second to not last is the turtle. And uh, just put the head, and then you have to. Pull down the, the fins, and then the arm is completed. And then, certainly, this is last. Okay. Um, what you do with the lion, you know, push up the legs, the arms, just push them in, like so. We can leave him like this because uh, during the final transformation, he'll be like this anyway. So we can leave him like this. You know, uh, just put the I think it's the dragon over here. Wait, wait, no, don't do that. I forgot. Got extra reasons. Put the ape and turtle in there now, and then the lighter. Okay, fold those back. Okay, now, now I'm going to transform the lobster. Or EB, what got me? Or the claws, or whatever. It, it's a lobster, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, first thing you want to do is go the tail, right, right here, the tail, and remove it from like so. See this? This is the tail here. It's really nice. Uh, sorry about my camera. I know it's kind of. Uh, Weird. I don't. I'm trying to get used to it. Okay. Next, uh, you want to remove the head. You see, there's the head here. Just remove it. It's not going to work with me. Okay. And there's these little tabs here that help. See the tabs here? They help. To, uh, they help the combination. They help put the lobster head. And here's where you put the tabs. Right here. 
little things. And uh, lay these to the side. They'll come in handy later. These little pits. It also comes weapons, actually. Just fold it here to make the sword. You know, like that. And then again, you just fold it. And it comes a little sword. Anyway. Okay, now you stand it up this way. And you just... What you do now, let's put the arms down, put the arms down there, pull the claws down like that, and the feet, you just turn the feet, and then like that, like so. Now, this is the completed claws or mode here. As you can see, uh, four different faces. Uh, you see the face. Okay, and then well, there's the main face, of course. And then well, the primary standard. And then here's the next one. You guys can see it. And then the next one here. I think I'm going backwards. Wait, I am. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm going that way. Ah, there's the last one there. Okay. And it goes back to the regular face. Okay, now I'm going to combine them into the... I call it the Samurai Ultra Zord. I guess. I don't know what they call it. Uh, it's, it's Daikai Shinkano and Shinkinger, but I... Guess they haven't announced it in Samurai what the, co the combination is going to be, or you know, they haven't said anything. But anyway, what you do first... You see this back here. You disconnect it from the body. See, it's connected by these two tabs. These two tabs here. Look. Here and then connected by on the back, you see there's some you can see it or not, but there's two tabs here. Okay. Anyway, uh, disconnect the legs. You see the legs here. Just disconnect here, and there's there's a hole. A hole. You guys can see it. There's a hole here, and it connects by the tab here. You guys can see it. Okay. Take those two off. And then, once you get that done, um, on the legs, you want to rotate them, like so. And I believe it's like this. Yeah, just rotate like this. Which, th uh, I think it's this part that looks facing front. So, and fold it down here, and you have the like, same thing to the other one. You just uh, turn this part where it's facing this way, and then fold it down, and then that's it. Now, we'll put these parts here. What you do, you just insert it into the bear here, and put the tab, and then just put it in, and then there you go. This part's finished. Same thing for the dragon. Standard procedure. It's repetitive, and I know. Uh, like this, and you know, the legs, and uh, yeah. Um, after that, what you do then is, well, attach the legs, of course. Like you know, the tabs here, and then connect it with the hole. Here, I'm trying to get used to this camera. I've never done this before. I've never, done, I've never done a review, so if this is crappy. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, th these are the legs first. Let's see the legs here. Now, I know in Shinkinger, Dekai Shinkano, uh, the Saru and Kame origamis are folded into their original shape forms. Um, but, you know, they don't have origami forms. Well, the turtle does, but anyway. Anyway, what you do now is see this, this face. Bring it down like this. And then move these up like that. Move those here like that. And then the two tabs I showed earlier on the on the head. These two tabs here. Oh, there they are. These two tabs here. You bring it here, right here, and then you just kind of snap it, and it, that's what it looks like now. Now, I'm, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to go, but 
We're going to say it's like that. Okay. Now what you do, uh, there are actually tabs here. You see the tabs here. There's two tabs. And then you just attach it to the torso of the lion around in this area here. And uh, just attach it. And then you have this. And then what you do now, you just take the center part here, this chest piece, and then you insert it like that. And that is the finishing touch. As you can see, it's very nice. Uh, I think it's great. And you just put the swords here, the daggers or swords or whatever you want to call them, weapons. And there you go. This is the finishing. This is the finishing version. This is the Samurai Ultra Zord or uh, Dekai Shinkano, and I believe that's how you do it. This is a kind of a back view of it. Anyway, uh, this is the back view. Um, as you can see, the the arms are just standard, and then. Uh, and just a front view again. Uh, I know it's not Shinkano or Dekayo, but I mean they're very good figures. I mean I, I really enjoy the summer figures. Anyway, uh, that is it. Uh, so I hope uh, everyone liked it and uh, they sent in my review. Uh, post your comments and everything. And uh, I'm sorry if it's bad. Uh, I've never done a review before, and yeah, I don't know. Anyway though. Alright, this is Gyal024 signing off. Thanks guys.